Um, so the next one is another environment question. Uh, what are your thoughts on the environment regarding the local watershed, Biona Creek, preservation of the wetlands, and the Santa Monica Bay? So this is kind of more, this is definitely environmental one here. And here's the order. Greg, Sonny, Tracy, Mike, Jim, Aaron, Allison, and Matt. So up first is Greg. Thanks, John. Um, first off, <clears throat> on, on Biona, um, it is sacred. It is our last um, uh, wetlands in Southern California, um, and it is a crucial ecosystem um, uh, that will also that is crucial to our ocean. Um, we have got to make sure that it will last. We have got to make sure that it is healthy. Um, and I look forward to working with all kinds of stakeholders, all stakeholders, um, and 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 really moving forward with uh, a, a science based um, uh, a plan. There, um, I think it's also immediately crucial um, to address the RV encampments um, on Jefferson. Uh, 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 near the marsh. And um, toward that end, what I would do is launch a buyback program um, coupled with an encampment to home program um, where we surge resources, get folks into housing, um, uh, predicate, predicate uh, or make contingent um, a buyback of their RVs and their willingness to stay in that housing for a period of time. Um, and then we get rid of, we, we, those RVs get demolished. I think we need to do that. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Greg. Sonny? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you know, I think with, with our environmental resources here, with the, the wetlands and, and the coastal areas in general, we're dealing with the problem of runoff, right? And um, the main causes of runoff in this city are, you know, oil from all, all the traffic, uh, gas on the roads, and, and uh, lawn fertilizers. And the, the lack of permeable surfaces around our city. So we, we've taken our river and we've cemented it and created a sewer basically. And we need to restore, you know, biodiversity to, to the LA River. And that will help, you know, control some of the pollution going to our going to our coastal line. We also need to increase green spaces around the city, which will also, you know, increase the, the permeable surfaces. We need a public campaign against these lawn fertilizers. I know it's a market and people make profit off of that, but our city needs to be telling people you, you are helping to destroy the the, the environment with, with these lawn fertilizers and um, you should think twice. So some more public education, public campaigns against the, the pollution of these areas. Thanks, Sonny. Tracy? Sorry, I couldn't find the mute button. Uh, we are so blessed here on the coastal district uh, with our gorgeous Pacific Ocean and our Santa Monica Bay. Our biota wetlands, as has been noted, is one of the last, you know, postage size stamps, uh, size of these very, very critical habitats remaining anywhere in Southern California. And I am always mindful of how interconnected all of our precious environmental resources are. You know, at Biona Wetlands, there are dozens of rare and endangered species of birds and animals. And what the city has allowed to happen there to the wildlife and to the environment over the last couple of years is absolutely unacceptable. Um, just as an aside, I, I think it's also important that we all be open to potentially getting in the way of projects and proposals intended to restore wetlands when in fact they may potentially cause more harm than good. Um, last March, we all watched as five acres of that protected habitat burned due to an encampment fire. And because of the gas fields and the infrastructure there, another incident actually could be catastrophic. Thank you. Oh, nope. well, thanks. Sorry, that went fast. It did. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Hey, you know, look, I, I like to draw distinctions because I think it's important for voters. And, you know, I disagree that we should think about opposing, quote unquote, restorations for Biona. Um, the Fish and Wildlife Service of California wants to spend $250 million and spend nine years bulldozing the wetlands in order to restore them. Anybody who spends any significant time in the wetlands like I do is endorsed by the LA Coastal Protection Coalition, who spends a ton of time in Biona and advocates for it, knows that it's an ecosystem that's taken 60 years to heal as it is, and it's just fine as it is. And those kind of wrong head decisions, I believe I'm the only person in this, in this race who's come out and said that they are uh, unequivocally opposed to it. Number two, what we need to do is Ted Lieu has brought forth um, uh, HR 1487, 
which a lot of you may know of, which is to study adding not only the Santa Monica Mountains, but our coast all the way down into the Santa Monica Bay and the Biona Wetlands into a national recreation area to be controlled by the National Park Service. And obviously a lot of funding and fire protection comes with that. We need to get behind that. And if I'm elected, I will work with Ted Lou to make that a reality. Thanks, Mike. Jim? So um, I think Mike's right about the restoration plan. Um, I think that there is uh, a lot to be said to, to completely bulldoze something just to go back in and recreate it. You know, it's, it's the, uh, the uh, NIH factor, right? Not invented here. Um, at any rate, uh, you know, as, as a member uh, previously of a group that was called the Biona Lagoon Marine Preserve, I worked very hard to uh, help restore the Biona Lagoon, which is the northern side of, of uh, the, well, it's actually the south side of the Venice Canals. But um, I think that, that we're missing the point. On a global scale, the, the Biona wetlands are a very, very small piece of the wetlands throughout the global scale. But I think what's very important to the city of Los Angeles and we're missing the point on is the educational benefit that we need to, to really preserve to being able to teach inner city kids and people that have never understood what wildlife is about that here's something that they can do on a field trip from school. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Aaron? First off on the environment, I wanna be clear. I said that I want to create the infrastructure so people can get out of their cars. That does not mean that people can't use their cars. It's reducing our reliance on cars. Young people want alternatives. Just want to say that for the record. Regarding Biona, they're a treasure. Um, for regarding the restoration, I'm opposed to bulldozing. I'm opposed to that quote restoration. I also need to, to point out SoCal gas storage near Playa Vista. This is another Aliso Canyon in disaster in the making. And so we have to uh, not only just phase out the oil and gas drilling in the city, but also uh, and the, the gas storage, especially as we're electrifying and we're transitioning to 100% renewable energy. This is going to become obsolete anyways, and this is a danger. Um, regarding water, I've served on the LA County Beach Commission. I'm a surfer. Uh, I'm very concerned with the Santa Monica Bay. Um, we have to address water treatment. We have to invest in the infrastructure. We can't have more leaks and dumps like we've had in, in the past. Um, the, you know, the Santa Monica Bay has come a long way since like the 80s, but right now I'm worried that we're falling back. So we need to make these investments. Thank you. Thanks, Erin. Allison? I am absolutely committed to protect the Biona wetlands and the Santa Monica Bay from pollutants like oil drilling, um, the encampments, farming, and dumping. And I have personally been to countless field trips of Biona and I've spent countless weekends enjoying the Santa Monica Bay with potluck dinners at the beach. And we have to remove the RVs that are currently along Jefferson. They are causing environmental impacts, negative environmental impacts to the wetlands. And I am committed to do that. LA needs to provide the land for these RVs. Some of these RVs need to be fixed, but they need to go. And I was at your neighborhood council for service where I learned quite a bit about that. Your, your community is doing a great job to advocate for that. As an environmentalist, I support the goal of restoring Bologna wetlands because of the damage that has just been done by the RVs, that has to be done. Not only do we need to restore the wetlands and the, and, the, and the details of that can be hammered out, whether it's bulldozers, that does not seem to be the right answer um, or people digging it out by, with their hands, but we need to prevent further damage. And every time it rains that all that trash comes in and we have the Inceptor project that's gonna prevent it from going into the ocean, but we need to figure out how to do it further upstream. That's absolutely necessary. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, um, about 10 years ago, I expanded my business to include sampling of rainwater as it goes into the storm drains from businesses. I did that because growing up on the west side, my father took me to the beach growing up and seeing all that pollutants, all that uh, stuff in the water, um, it's something we need to stop. So absolutely, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that fixed. Uh, that includes cleaning up the encampments down on Jefferson, but it also includes cleaning our streets and making sure that everything that's on our streets is cleaned up and disposed of properly and not just put into the storm drains where it's eventually going to go out into our oceans. We need to make common sense decisions. I grew up not four blocks from the area that we're talking about, and I live maybe a, a uh, five blocks away from it now. So um, I'm very passionate about uh, making our environment as clean as possible. And we need to preserve that one last bit of open area that we have in LA. 
Thank you.